Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Marcus Cope, I'm an orthopaedic surgeon and I specialise in hip and knee surgery. So please like and subscribe so that I can continue to make further videos about everything related to hip and knee replacements. Today I'm going to talk to you about sciatic nerve injury, how it occurs and what symptoms you can see and when it happens. Most people will have heard about it from the point of view of getting sciatica which is when one of the nerves is pinched in the back and it gives pain down the evolution of that nerve. The sciatic nerve is one of the longest nerves in the, in the leg and this is why you tend to feel shooting pain down to your foot. However, occasionally in hip surgery, very rarely, it can be injured when the nerve is either pinched or caught from the instruments that are put in as often it can be very close to the acetabulum or cut part of the hip joint. When it happens, you tend to find that people will complain that they get pain down the leg, or more, more importantly, that when the spinal anaesthetic wears off, that they're unable to lift their foot up and have what's called a foot drop. Now, thankfully, it is exceedingly rare, but it does occur, like all, all things, um, due to the fact of its close proximity to the hip joint. When we open the hip joint, I do a posterior approach, which means we come in at the back of the hip. One of the first things we do is to look to identify where the sciatic nerve is. It is then protected during the surgery and the small external rotators, which are the little muscles at the back of the thigh bone, are rotated so that they, once they're cut, to go over the back of the nerve and protect it. When we put instruments in, namely retractors so that we can create a space to do the operation it can be at risk on occasions at this point and this is what we call a traction injury and often the nerve fully recovers from this very rarely if the nerve is exceedingly close to the acetabular part of the pelvis it can get caught with the remus these are what what look like basically curved cheese graters that we use to scrape out the inner lining of the of what's left of the cartilage within the acetabular component most times thankfully however if the nerve is affected it does tend to recover because we check it at the end of surgery as well to look at its integrity and make sure that it's not being damaged at all now You'd be surprised to, to see how big the actual nerve is and it, as it passes by it's almost about half the size of your little finger. That's because it's supplying a large proportion of the lower leg and also when we check it you can actually run your fingers over it against the pelvic bone and it almost feels like a guitar string because it's under slight tension. So there is another risk unfortunately from surgery that does occur on occasions and hopefully in this continued series of, comp of risks associated with surgery, you have a better understanding when you go through with your operation. If you are fortunate enough to have osteoarthritis of the hip and need to have a hip replacement to improve your quality of life. So thank you for listening.